Ski mask the slump god stokely! Hey RV family, keep it I keep it tight, my name is Jay Morser, if you got and I'm back again to bring you another video, and in this one I'm going to be reviewing the new Ski Mask the Slump God album, Stokely. And before we get into the video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for 1,500 subscribers. I was shouted out by the needle drop. I highly suggest going and checking out that video because I was a complete and total mess in that. But if by some stretch of the imagination you see this, Anthony, th thanks. I appreciate it more than you know, and all of your guys' support really does mean a lot. I hope I live up to your expectations. Stokely is the debut album by Ski Mask the Slump God, who has been releasing mixtapes and collaborative efforts for a a while, but this is really his first substantial main studio length project. And it's a short one, only 32 minutes, 18 seconds, and 13 tracks. And I have been hoping that Ski Mask really would come through with an amazing effort this year. I know he was working on something. I was like, please be fire. I wanted this to be fire. And guess what? I can safely report that this is fire. Front to back, this is one of the best albums that I have heard this year coming out of hip-hop. It really did not only live up to the expectations that I had kind of set in my own mind for this album and Ski Mask the Slump God's first release, but I just really wanted this to work out, and man, it did. Most of these tracks are very short, and they get in and out fast, but they feel like concise efforts. They feel like complete songs. A lot of times, if you have a song be too short and sometimes too long, it can either feel oversaturated or it can feel underdeveloped, and the underdeveloped usually comes from the former of being too short. But I think that all of these songs really do work to make kind of fast, just quick, banger after banger. Are the beats innovative? No, they aren't cutting edge, but god, they're fire. They are murky, they're in your face, they are so low, and Ski Mask works these beats to death. And you could go so far as to say that that may be a detracting factor, is the fact that he doesn't usually use a bunch of different wide-ranging beats but he knows his strengths, he knows his talents, and he's working to those talents in a really phenomenal way. So High starts off the track list with some just great bars, very good flow. That's something I gotta commend. Ski Mask's flow on this album is superb. And some of the lyrics, the bars on this album, are hilarious. Yeah, some are introspective, some are interesting, some deal with some interesting things, but for the most part, Ski Mask is just dropping fire bar after bar of just these hilarious ideas. Like, it's a delicate and very fragile situation that he finds himself in because a lot of times when rappers try to be too funny it comes off as just kind of uh, what's the word I'm looking for it kind of comes off as one-dimensional like it's being forced like they're trying too hard with the humor but for this album, in my personal humble opinion, I think that it comes off very naturally. Ski Mask brings on some very interesting guest features, but not too many, which is good. Like on track number two, Nuketown featuring Juice World. Juice World sounds amazing on this track. He sounds bestial. He has no auto-tune on his voice, and he is just screaming at the top of his lungs. I've heard some people say that this almost sounds like it could have been perfect for XXX Tentacion, which isn't too far-fetched considering the fact that they did work together on the whole members only mixtape collaborative effort. Back in May, Beware the Book of Eli was a very interesting mixtape and I had such high hopes because while it was good, it didn't feel as just full banger from front to back. But there's no track on Stokely that I feel like really should have been cut. Now that's not to say that there are some tracks that aren't as good as others, but there is enough there when it comes to his funny lyrics. I'm, I'm smiling even thinking about some of them. Some of his lyrics, they keep the tracks going, they keep them moving, and because they're not too long, they don't really get bogged down. Whereas if you had like a four or five minute rap song with like two features, if it was bad, you would notice it more. Because he's working with these compact song links, it works out in his favor. Track number eight, Far Gone, featuring Lil Baby. I really don't like Lil Baby a lot of the time, but on this track, I feel like he did a really good job. Same with Lil Yachty. I don't really like Lil Yachty, but he did good on his feature. On tracks like Faucet Failure and Cat Piss and Foot Fungus, I mean, you can just see these titles... 
They're as funny as the lyrical themes, and I am very, very happy that this album came out as good as it did. I think that it's banger from front to back. There's some very interesting beat choices. The um, production on this album is very good as well. I feel like his vocals stand so well. They aren't uh, too auto-tuned at times. They, When he does use it, they, are, they feel really prominent in the mix, and his flow on this album is fantastic. I mean, I know a lot of people have been ragging on Ski Mask the Slump God. People either love him or hate him. But with this release, I feel like he's going to gain a lot of fans because it really is an amazing release and one of the best rap records that I have heard this entire year. I'm going to be giving it a 9 out of 10, but what did you think? If you've heard it, you can post it in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. It helps me a lot, and I will put you in the description of the next video. I'll talk to you guys next time. But until then, my name is Jay Morse, Review Guy, and I'm signing off saying farewell. Well.